So before I get too far into this project, I thought maybe I would start video taping it. <laughs> it's kind of an afterthought. I already cut out half the pages in this uh, photo album. So what I'm making today is a, um, a journal out of recycled materials that I will um, use recycled materials to fill this journal with artwork. Um, I might use some new materials, but the, the basis of it will be uh, used materials. So this right here is a photo album that um, I started some project a long time ago thinking I'd do some cards and, you know, I do a lot of stuff like this. I start stuff and it's like, eh, you know. Anyway, it's been sitting in a box for about a year, maybe longer. Oh gosh, probably much longer. Um, but it was a photo album and I am now cutting out all of these pages because these are not just paper the these have this plastic cover in them and I don't want that for my journal pages so the idea here is I'm going to cut out all of these pages and I'm not being very nice and, and neat about it it's some of them are rather um, rough and I think that'll add character to it and then the next thing I'll do is I will gather various scraps of paper and start gluing them back in here. And why I picked this one was the, because of the way that it was designed. Um, these pages fit in here and the binding is simply this, these, this paper that's just a, kind of like an accordion and I can adhere uh, paper, new paper to this. Um, so this should be very interesting. I think that it can, uh, the papers could be adhered after you work on them or you could adhere them before. I think I'll do them before. But this is my project that I'm starting uh, today and we'll see how far I get. Hopefully farther than the, uh, the little card project because there was only one in there. <laughs> okay, so I will check in once in a while. Uh, and show you my progress and uh, show you what I tell you what I run into because it's gonna be stuff I'm gonna run into stuff this is a totally new adventure for me um, but I'm very excited about it too and I'm excited to bring this to you and inspire you to reuse the materials that you likely already have around so there we'll do that bye for now Okay, I'm back. I have been busy gluing in pages and I'm just like grabbing stuff and just gluing it in there. I even found this this glue pen that I wasn't even using. I bought it for something and I was like, oh, I don't think I like this. And so even this is something that I would have just tossed. It's But anyway, I am just gluing stuff in here. Um, whatever I... I have this drawer of stuff. <laughs> some of it's just collage stuff that I've made. Some of it is things I've picked up here and there uh, along the way. Um, I have this paper from um, my friend Christina from the Scrapbook Club. And you might think, well, Karen, that paper's a little big for that journal there. <laughs> <laughs> That's some huge paper! <laughs> but what I was thinking is I'm just going to glue it in there as is and and then I might cut or tear the edges and then I might fold this in for flaps. I don't know. I am just grabbing and gluing and I even have some calendar stuff in there. These are just some... Uh, what is this? It's made out of recycled rag, cotton rag. Um, that I was just playing around with some paint stuff here. I've got this this great wow, this is some black gessos playing around with some metallic stamps and um, this is working out really well. Now I have no idea if this this glue is supposed to be permanent. Um, so it should technically it should work. Uh, you do want to use a permanent glue anytime you because you, we don't know what's going to happen. You know, um, things could get wet with watercolor and who knows. So starting off with the uh, permanent glue. 
Um, this dries clear, so I don't know. It sounds like a good idea to me. Um, I don't know. Should I put that in there? That's quite the sight. You know, things like this, I can, um, you know, I'm trying not to be like all exact about things. Um, and one of them I just, I cut and it didn't, I didn't really care if it was even or not, but I think I will cut this, um, right down the middle. And even this cutting mat that I'm using, I know you might think, oh, that's not recycled stuff. In a way it kind of is. I bought it for a class that I did once, um, and I've, and I've never used it since. Um, so it's just kind of like sitting around, you know. Um, we all have, well, maybe we all don't have stuff just sitting around, but, um, you never know. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just keep, keep gluing, uh, things in, finding things to glue in. Um, these are things that somebody left at, uh, Seattle Recreative. Um, hard about this is I really want to make sure this is gluing but I don't want to I don't have the patience this is a one that's actually left over from a class that I did uh, that somebody left behind this is just a, a painted uh, journal page um, and what else do I got in here I got all this stuff that I got from Seattle recreative in this wonderful bag uh, it was a bag somebody had one of their volunteers had sorted through and kind of categorized things these are all potential pages or material for pages um, so a lot of the stuff I, I won't actually I'm only trying to glue in um, pages that I think are heavy enough to handle uh, things and I don't know what this is this is um this is just white oh adhesive back this is actually sticker sticker stuff i pick up a lot of stuff on um, clearance um and i think that's a great way to get materials to use is on clearance racks oh this is a really wonderful piece of paper oh these are from uh, magazines um i can't remember the name of it but those are really fun here's a coloring book page i did it just uh, glue that in there for a page. Who knows? It's all game. I got all this stuff. And, um, oh, one of the things that I glued in here, and I have another one. Oh, these are really cool. These are um, actually from a canvas pad. So they're like um, acrylic canvas that um, you normally buy um, mounted on a, uh, on a frame, but th they come in these pads. And so they're um, material that have been gessoed. And I was just playing around with color and design. And um, it's a great inexpensive way to, to play with color and design without ha the expense of, um, you know, a whole canvas. And um, I actually took um, a few of these. I have them in here already. And I folded this in half. And now this becomes a page. Isn't that so cool? <laughs> I am already having a blast. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep going. I'm going off camera. Um, I'll pop back in, show you what I'm up to. Okay, I'm back again. I'm starting to run into a problem. Um, the material that I'm putting into this binding is, um, it's, it's adding a lot of thickness to it. And so this is not going to be able to accommodate all, if I continue on the way that I'm going, it won't be able to accommodate it. There's only so much room in here. And it's also starting to get really hard to uh, get things glued down and, and, and keep them glued down. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't like super fast drying glue, so which is good because otherwise I'd probably have my fingers glued to the pages by now. But um, I, I am running into some problems. So what I have started to do was I was gluing one page down to each one of these. And now I'm going to start sandwiching them in between two of them so that for every two, whatever we want to call those things... <laughs> Um, they'll just be one page and also try to add some thinner sheets 
as well I think is a is a good idea so I'm going to keep going with that idea uh, the other thing that could be done is these could be cut out some of these could be cut out of here but I'm afraid because of the way that it's constructed is the whole thing will just un unravel on me because this binding in here these is actually uh, one piece of paper in a, an accordion style and I've seen that uh, done in one of my books on binding books. There is an accordion style binding that you can do. Um, so technically this is like a real thing. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to keep going with it. And uh, whenever you run into, and, and you will, you'll run into stuff. It's going to happen. Um, there are no rules to this. So stuff's going to happen and you're going to have to figure it out. Just try to think, okay, what's happening and how might I alleviate this, this problem? And then try it, see if it works. So that's, um, that's where I am right now. I've got a long ways to go. I wish I would have caught this sooner. At this point, this might, might be more of a challenge than I'm up to, but I, I'm going to keep going. Okay, back again. Really running into problems now. I'm, I'm maybe halfway through here, but what's happening is it's it, I, I can't really get this to glue to the paper without sitting here and holding it for, you know, the duration and my little thing of closing it up and hoping that would press it isn't gonna work. So um, I'm running into another another thing. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use some washi tape. Now, technically, of course, this is not um, recycled stuff, but I didn't run out to buy it for this. Okay, so I think it's fair game. I think I think I can get away with this. Um, so I'm just going to go for it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the washi tape as a way to um, adhere the um, binding, whatever I want to call it. See, I can't. I haven't been able to figure out a name for this uh, binding here. <laughs> this stuff in the middle. But instead of trying to hold it and gluing it down, I'm going to take this tape and use this as a temporary holder. Now I say temporary, but it doesn't mean that it has to remain temporary. This could stay in here permanently. But since it's washi tape. Um, it'll easily come back up. So it, technically it could be a temporary solution to this problem that I'm having. I think I have these other ones. I think they're going well enough. But I'm just really starting to run into this here and my fingers are getting really sticky. Oh, this one isn't going to, this one isn't going to open up. I'm, I keep trying, see how easily that comes up? I keep trying different things. Uh, two and this one I'm actually it's a, a I don't know, one of those things I just was screwing around with something and I was thinking if I put it in here it would open up but I didn't put it in far enough so now I'm trying to do that and hope there's the glue still wet enough to to hold it this is all just a, a big gamble now now I'm really reusing it <laughs> sink it stick does the trick. Well, we'll see. A lot harder to glue it down or tape it down the second time around. But so now I can test it. Yep, that one opens up. So I basically just took this page, folded it in half, and sandwiched it in between two of these um, thingamajiggers in the middle of my what used to be a photo album. Okay, I bet you there's a technical name for those thingamajiggers. So that's what I'm going to keep doing. I actually just found this huge stash of, of stuff in um, my bottom drawer. And, you know, these are just like things I was just trying out paints and um, well, these are way too heavy, but so, oh, that's quite ugly, but um, things that I started on, maybe I never finished or I was just screwing around. Um, another good thing, I do have a, I have a lot of these. These are great for collage materials too. These are just watercolor testing things. Um, 
Oh, it looks like I have some more of that canvas paper. Lovely, lovely. Love that. Oh, more canvas paper. So I've got lots of material here, and my job now is deciding uh, which ones are going to become pages and which ones are going to be saved for um, material for the, uh, the actual content of the journal. Okay, so I'm going to keep working, and uh, when I run into stuff, I'll pop back on the camera and um, show you how I worked around it. Of course, we won't really know if any of this works until I'm all done, um, because I have no patience. I'm just going to blast through this thing and fill it up and uh, let it dry for a few days. <laughs> Open it up, see what happens. All right, I managed to get all of the pages and scraps and whatever I had around shoved in here. The glue is still wet. It's going to take a while to dry, but I have very high hopes that this will actually hold together. So what I'll do after this is, um, well, I don't know what I'm going to do after this. I'm going to sleep on it. <laughs> I definitely want to put... Um, a cover on it. Do do something with this. Either enhance it, make it look like it's hand painted, or completely cover it up with something else I think would be nice. But I think this is a, a really good start to a journal that reuses. I mean all of this was just I wouldn't say it was garbage because, you know, I mean my I, I wouldn't throw, but I was going to repurpose this. This all of this stuff and um, yay so I'm excited um, I am going to uh, put the uh, heavy weight on this and let it sit overnight because it's um, the, the glue is definitely wet um, but I have confidence yay! I did it it's all together um, I ended up trimming the um, the top and bottom edges of it and um, just I don't know I mean I liked it it would have been fine if things were sticking up but I really like that it gave it a nice clean cut um, and the inside is as long as it holds inside the the edge I'm good with that so now my next thing um, is to work on the cover and I'm kind of looking around my art room going oh what can I use and you know I'm so used to reaching for new materials that it's really hard for me to kind of get my head around this um, but I do I have so much stuff laying around this is actually a collage paper that I made um, recently a lot of the um, Oh, the textures on here are actually made from recycled materials um, and uh, the stamps I picked up used at an artist garage sale. Um, it's got some uh, paper napkins on here from a dollar store um, and the inks that I used on these are from uh, Seattle Recreative store too so those are used um, oh, and various tissue papers, too, that I picked up at Seattle Recreative and um, Ross, um, which is a great spot to get outlet things. Um, basically, it's stuff that stores no longer wanted to sell, so they give it to Ross, and they, you get it for a big discount. And technically, it's not, you know, reusing, but it is um, stuff that is no longer in the mainstream marketplace. So I figure it's fair game. So I'm considering using this as a cover for this. And then, you know, cut this off. I have this up here for... Um, to still use for collage material so it could be used on the inside but I really like that idea yeah 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 I'm gonna have to do that I just gotta decide how I want to do it do I want to wrap it around or do I want to do washi tape on the edges so that's my next uh, place to go is is how to adhere this um, this being a fairly smooth non-porous surface um, it's not super glossy, but it's not very porous either. I will probably um, take some fairly rough sandpaper to it um, 
and do that. Oh, here's, this is well used, but here's something else that could work really well. Once in a while, I buy these um, foam nail uh, blocks and I don't know who picks out this sandpaper, but you know, what am I sanding? You know, the toenails of an elephant with this thing? I mean, my gosh, there, it, you can't do a nail with this. It's, it's ridiculous. So what I do with these is I use them as sanding blocks for my journals. And what this is going to do is it's going to rough up this surface and give it some tooth so that when I put glue down on it, it can actually sink into something. Well, that came out really well. I really love this. This is great. So now I'm thinking about what I want to do for this border. Um, I could use the washi tape. Um, this is definitely an option. I might play around with that. I also have this, and I'm going to look this up on the internet if I know. I don't know what this series is. This is a golden acrylics. It's a what they call a mixture. So I don't know what that means at all. I've never seen this in the stores. This I picked up at the Seattle Ray Creative Store. It was something that somebody donated. It looks like a product sample because I don't think they even sell these things this small. So I might try that on here if I dare. <laughs> Another combination would be to use it along with some washi tape. So that's my next uh, step here is to do that. And then I think before I actually start doing anything on the inside here, I might take it and um, clean up some of these places in here. Um, I don't know. I'll have to think about it. Like I said, I was going to sleep on it. I was supposed to, you were supposed to see me in the next video, and it's still this video. Like, go away, Karen. <laughs> but I did want to, I, I did want to do this cover to actually complete the journal. Um, so I'm going to do something with the edge, and that will be that. And I will, really will see you in the next video. God, I hope so. God, this, there, there's water-soluble medium on, this is actually going to be a challenge, because there's water soluble meaning uh, medium on this cover I need to fix it so I quit getting it all, all all over my hands and that's something you're going to run into when you start reusing um, materials is some of it is going to be water soluble um, so it's all part of the fun all part of the fun okay I have the um, the new journal all put together and I'm starting to fill in um, the pages and at this point I'm still just working on um, just kind of decorating things um, I don't I'm not very clear on um, what direction that this journal will take at this point and that's absolutely fine um, sometimes clarity comes in journaling as you journal so um, it doesn't always come at the beginning. So I am just finding little scraps and various things that I have around my art room. I'm putting down some uh, ribbon that a friend of mine gave me uh, left over from her club scrap boxes that she has. And these are just going to add a little bit more decoration. The paper that I added on the edges was also from that. Um, not everything that I'm using in here is, is leftover stuff, but I, I'm not going out and buying anything uh, to put in here because um, that would kind of defeat the purpose of it. Yesterday I had a chance to do some stenciling with some kids. We were using up some paints that I had and um, so there's a few stencil pages in here. Uh, the rest of these, you know, there, there's leftover papers. Um, these are actually some uh, art papers that I um, picked up at Seattle Recreative Store. Um, they kind of look like maybe flyers or something for somebody else's uh, class. And of course, these, you can probably recognize these. This is what's, I, I took a page out of a, a journal that I had done and uh, it's in here somewhere. <laughs> But um, then I cut off 
that little binding edge and I thought, oh, I'll just put that in there. And then when I did that, it kind of set the stage for um, the other images. Um, I found these. Uh, these were also from the Seattle Recreative Store uh, Artist Papers. Um, and these were just, they're just on paper, but um, they're cards. I was kind of thinking I might um, end up gluing them down to cardstock. I put a little pocket in here to do that. Um, again, this is a Seattle Recreative uh, materials that I bought. They have these wonderful little bags that, that you can pick up. Um, and more playing with paint. Uh, more images left over from somebody else's artwork. Um, some of these pages, I when I was doing these uh, <laughs> painting with the kids, I didn't take the time to really dry my pages or put um, any wax paper in between. Um, yeah, my pages are a little sticky. Good idea to go through this stuff now. But yeah, so I'm just kind of doing some, some various things with these pages. Um, Said, I don't know which direction it's going to go in, but I like what I'm looking at. I like it very much. This is this is really coming together. So I'm going to keep playing with these little scraps and various things that I have around, um, doing my best to be re reusing or using um, material that would otherwise be uh, put into the trash. Uh, what a great uh, what a great way to reuse some of those. In fact, um, I was working on another journal this morning, and um, speaking of you reusing things, this the uh, the paper that I got this woman off of was um, a new paper. It was a, a product by um, Jane Davenport, and I picked up her paper pack because it was just really lovely. And I cut this woman out of the um, original page. Let me see if I can find it here real quick so you can get a better visual on this. I know it's in here somewhere. So this is the original page that I got out of her um, Jane Davenport uh, scrapbook papers. And as you can see on my page, I cut her out and um, and pasted her onto a page in my journal that I had done some writing on. But instead of throwing out those extra scraps that I cut out, I cut them and tore them and placed them on various pages of my uh, journal. So that's another way to incorporate something that might otherwise be thrown into the trash when you're done cutting some things out. In fact, I was thinking I would start a box for things like that. Just those little scraps that, you, that, you know, I just normally just toss out because it's like, okay, I got what I wanted out of this. And um, eventually I'll have this whole stash, but you know, you can use it right on the pages. So I'm going to keep playing with this. Oh, here we go. This is just something I just found on my um, art table. So God, there's probably all kinds of stuff here. <laughs> all kinds of little things I could put in there. <laughs> Who knows what I'll find. Um, and just start putting them in here. And this is, uh, this is a great way to experience art journaling. And uh, reuse some... Uh, Reuse and use up some of the sources that you probably already have around or that you're throwing away. So um, I did, I don't know if I showed this in the previous video, sorry, you know, sometimes these things get away from me, but I did finish the cover on it, um, puts a, a, a layer of varnish on it, it still needs another layer of varnish put on it. Um, to fully protect it, did the inside covers. Um, this just give, gives the, the book more strength because it was starting to fall apart right here. So I put a piece of cardstock on there and uh, did one for the front and one for the back. It just really strength, strengthens this part because if this goes, the whole thing falls out, right? Um, I did have a lot of problems with. Um, it falling apart because the uh, the in the creases here everything was perforated and of course when that got wet it just wanted to fall apart but the um, the tape I have a couple of different kinds of tape I was using and on some of them I just um, glued in uh, pieces of scrapbook paper um, 
that were left over from other various projects that um, I either did or never did. <laughs> so um, that gives you some ideas of where you can go with this type of journaling. Um, but before I close, I want to mention that you know you don't have to go all out and create a whole new book like this. You can you know use a, a store-bought book. This is a store-bought journal that I picked up, and um, the pages are just. I thought the pages were very inspiring. I I picked it up because I want to start doing more writing in my art journaling. And um, the writing, I, I did do writing on this page, it's all in the background. Um, so it kind of keeps my thoughts private. Um, same here, writing in the background. Um, I didn't use, I, I did buy, a, a, buy materials for this one um, that I was very attracted to. But I know how that happens. You know, you buy new materials, you do a project. It's like, oh, now that becomes leftover materials, which is great. But um, you don't have to. Um, you know, make your own journal. You can go with something that's already pre-made. Um, one of my favorites is using the Canson XL mixed media journals. You know, I'm digging one out of my closet here so you can see. This is my favorite one to use. It's my favorite size. It's the 7 inch by 10 inch Canson XL mixed media uh, paper. And, um, you know, you, like you said, you don't have to make a journal. You can start with this and then just uh, use these pages to fill up with your scraps of, um, you know, leftovers or go down to the uh, Seattle Recreative Store if you live uh, near Seattle. Um, another great resource is going to thrift stores. Um, and, of course, your own uh, recycle bin. <laughs> There's bound to be lots of stuff in there. Um, and um, start, start working in these uh, without having to buy new materials. Uh, two of the things that I do buy, uh, unless I get really lucky and find them used, or, you know, leftovers, is I do buy um, acrylic mediums. Um... I buy gel mediums, I buy polymer polymer medium, which I think they've now renamed to just like acrylic medium. They've renamed it. I do buy I buy gesso, I buy varnish for finishing pages, and I buy paints. And if I'm lucky enough uh, to find these things um, on the clearance racks, and that's another place to look for even in your local craft stores, is cruise the clearance racks because those are like, if it's the last chance to pick up those materials um, before they do end up in, the, in a landfill is um, the clearance racks. I, I, I honestly don't know where they end up. Um, after that, but um, I imagine eventually if somebody doesn't buy them or take them home, they do just end up in the trash. So clearance items, I think, are fair game. Um, dollar stores, while it's not necessarily trash, I think most of what's in there is probably trash. <laughs> it's a great way to pick up a few odds and ends and save a few bucks as well. Um, but start collecting things. Um, this, I found a little ticket the other day. See, I just, I need to start like a basket or something for this stuff. But have fun with the, this idea of reusing um, materials for your art journals and um, go with whatever direction it moves you in. So have fun and I hope to see you at one of my workshops or classes. Bye!